Hi, I'm Steve, and well, today we're gonna make pizza from Walmart. Yay, pizza! Yay. So me and Matt just got done working out, and uh, we've got some Mama Mary's pizza crust from mm. Walmart. Mmm, delicious. You get three in a pack. Wow, we only have two people. Two eighty nine. I know. So you know what? what you do? What's that, Steve? You save, save the planet, right? Recycle. <sighs> Holy crap! So you now you can have crust. one tomorrow. Got your cheese. Wow, what kind of cheese are you using there? Just great value from Walmart hmm. because we don't like to spend a lot of money on our pizza, right? Right, because we're cheap. Ragu sauce, it's like a buck eighty-nine. Look at that, awesome. homemade style. It's the way to do it. What kind of pizza are you having, Steve? Um, I'm having pepperoni and pineapple, and now uh, I don't have pineapple. Like I just got crushed pineapple, so I hope this tastes good. Huh. And Matt, I know you don't like flavor. I don't so like flavor, so we've just got cheese for you. There we go. Look at that. Mine's all cheese, all ready cheese. to go. So uh, the oven's preheating right now, as you can see, at 425 degrees. Yep. And we're gonna cook these for about uh, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. I think mine will take a little longer, so I'll pull it earlier because all the moisture in the pizza. And yeah. then uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll see you guys soon. All right. <laughs> so we're back. It's been about five, seven minutes, and our pizzas are starting to cook now. So you can see how the dough's nice and white. My pepperoni's just starting to cook a little. You want to wait until the cheese is completely melted. If you look at your cheese, and you see if there's any kernels, see how these cheeses aren't melted yet? You want to wait until it's a nice, smooth covering. Your crust is going to be a nice golden brown on the bottom. See, this dough's probably got another 10 minutes to go. We'll be back in 10. So now that she's making our pizza, we're waiting for that, and we decided we want something to drink. So with the Walmart Great Value Milk, we have uh, no percent, it's a skim milk. And we oh, I love skim milk. Do you? I do. That makes sense. And we have Hershey's Syrup Strawberry. Mm. We're gonna make some strawberry milk. Okay, first you start by pouring about three quarters of a glass of milk. And both of our glasses. Look at that. Give myself a little bit more. Notice right. that's not a half, not a fourth. It's three quarters. Three quarters. That's right. We're math majors. Or he is. I'm just a math guy. All right. Now He's going to be an engineer. Right there. Right there. All right. Let's make it so it's nice and pink on the bottom. Look at that. So you, know, you got that nice clob on the bottom there. You like it pink. Yeah, you like it pink. You want to get it in the, all in the pink. Let's, mm. Okay. Now you're going to take a spoon out of the drawer. Mixing spoon. Ooh. It's longer than normal. Also, a soup spoon would work. Do you want to show them a normal spoon so they don't get confused? Okay, we'll show you a normal spoon. This is a normal spoon. You see the huge difference right here? We have the, the bigger, more stirring spoon, and we have the normal spoon. Okay, I'm going to take my mixing spoon. I'm going to put it to the bottom of the cup and spin it counterclockwise until you're... Look at it. It's just transforming pink right there, right in front of your eyes. Make sure you scrape along the bottom there. So you don't have any of that milky syrup after you're done. Delicious. Look at that. Now that one's all ready to go. Perfect. Now we'll jump over to Steve's here. See it's all clumped up. Stir along the bottom there. See how it looks almost like Pepto-Bismol now. That's how you know it's really good. Really good. Really good. Oh I'm my, Matt. Really good. Well, thank you for watching me make strawberry milk. And we'll continue with Steve's Pizza here in just a little bit. And we're back. Our pizza's done. So if you want to come on over here, Matt, let's show them our pizza. Oh, look yeah, at it's nice and golden brown on top of that cheese. Everything's done. So let's take a look at the bottom there, Steve, to show them how golden brown that okay. is. Okay. Now you don't want to touch this. It's going to be hot for those kids out there. So make sure you go get a spatula. You want to get underneath your crust and you want to look. See, I got a little cheese on the bottom of my crust. It's a little blackness, but if it looks nice and golden brown. Beautiful. Okay. Matt, are you ready to eat? I am ready to eat. Let's eat. How are we going to cut this? Woo! I have this handy dandy pizza cutter, which I purchased from Pizza Hut because I work there. <laughs> and if you notice, this is a rock and roll cutter. This has cut thousands of pizza. You might have even eaten one. Maybe. If you live in Wisconsin. We are from Wisconsin. Notice how Matt has lots of cheese. We've actually have an entire holiday in Wisconsin known as Cheese Days. In Rural Wisconsin, they love cheese even more than we love cheese. We're just normal cheese people. They're actually cheese heads. It's great. Right. It's, it's amazing. Anyhow, 
One thing that you have to do, I'm actually going to cut this right on my counter. So I'm just going to set this here. You want to sanitize first. Right. We already did that previous to this video. And we're just going to cut this in four. Nice firm pressure. Sorry. Okay. And then get a plate. And this pizza, if it's still hot, it's going to slide right on your plate. Golden brown deliciousness. Thank you, Steve. We'll now, do the same thing later with my pizza. Let's let's watch Steve do his right now on right. his pizza and not get in our way this time. Remember not to touch the pan. It's hot. One, and you feel the crunch, and two. Now, if you don't have this cutter, that's not a big deal. A normal pizza cutter would work just fine. Something that I don't have, actually. So... My or a knife would work if you don't have any of those other options. And then that's that. Look at that. All right. Well, thanks for joining us making pizza today. Now that me and Steve had made the pizza and the strawberry milk, we're going to see how this tastes. Mm. I've already drank in some of the strawberry milk because I absolutely love it. It is delicious, I must agree. Mm. It is really delicious. Now, if you don't like it very strawberry, make sure you only put a little bit of that syrup in there. And if you like a lot of strawberry like I do, put so much in you can barely breathe. Okay. Now we're going to try Steve's pizza. It's nice and golden, crisp. Mm. How is it, Matt? It is absolutely delicious. All right. Thanks for joining us on Walmart Pizza today.